Hello and welcome back to the channel for yet another video. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who is um, entering the watch competition. I would like to remind you, however, though, that you do need to be subscribed. My analytics are telling me that some of you are, subscribe, uh, are entering, but you're not actually subscribed. Um, on the night this competition closes, I will remove all the names from people that aren't subscribed because that that was the rule. So hope you don't mind uh, tonight's video is another one from Jeff uh, the reason for that is I'm still running around dealing with um, mum uh, mum's estate I've got lots of things to do and um, I've got to go and do them so uh, Jeff has very kindly stepped up to the plate with a few extra videos for us so um, I'll be back on Friday with something but for now Jeff has got a little story to tell us about a, a town that was quite big once, but now it isn't. Let's go and have a look. Hello everyone, it's Jeff again, and welcome to Western Wyoming. And I would like to show you a little town that I pass through all the time. I could not even begin to tell you how absolutely beautiful the Aurora Borealis was last night under these endless skies. And welcome to the tiny town of Opal, Wyoming. It is pronounced Opal because that is the way the train conductor pronounced it. As the train would enter the small town, the conductor would say, Next stop, Opal. The first store in the area was a tent, and it was founded in 1890, and it served until 1892, when a more substantial building was built. This building served the town until around 1913, when it was decided that a larger building was needed because of the myriad of stuff that the mercantile carried. This is the mercantile from around 1974. It operated as the town's mercantile until 1981 when it was closed. But this building over the years literally had pretty much everything you could think of. They sold international harvester cars and trucks. They sold John Deere tractors and farm implements. They sold groceries and clothing and hardware and even had a gun shop. When the building was built in its original configuration, it had a hotel on one side and a bar on the other, complete with dance hall girls with a stage that was lined with mirrors that were brought all the way from St. Louis. The original Pioneer Monument that you see erected in front of the hotel was an afterthought. It was built in 1913 from donations from the town business people. They thought that if there was a monument, it would encourage people to stop it was thought that they might purchase a hat in the mercantile if it was a sunny day or a cold beer or cold drinks or stuff for a picnic from the grocery store. That was the idea behind it. Believe it or not, between cars, trucks, tractors, equipment for the hotel, groceries, and all of the other stuff, this building regularly received shipments of up to 10 rail cars. A little bit later, the Oregon Short Line Railroad came to town, and that is how Opal got its name. On the day that they opened the depot, a representative from the Oregon Short Line Railroad was there talking to a reporter from a local newspaper. As they walked along and talked, the railroad representative bent down and picked up a small stone, which the reporter asked him about and he said it's an opal. We now know it was actually an agate that was the same color as an opal. However, the name stuck. Railroad records from Opal from 1913 to 1918 
from the 20s, 30s, and 40s showed that they consistently shipped around 10,000 head of cattle a year and 25,000 bales of wool. National Archive records show that 27 people who served during World War II listed Opal, Wyoming as their hometown. There just isn't much left today. Population is down to 66 as of the last census. In 1981, Exxon decided that they wanted to drill some test wells in the area. They tried unsuccessfully to find gas and oil in this area and by 1987, they were gone. It was only a minor boom in this area. Which brings us back to Opal, Wyoming in 2022 with a population of 66. And the original mercantile building still sporting a sign from when they tried unsuccessfully to reopen it during the minor boom. As I wander these streets today while eating my lunch on my half hour break on my way to Pocatello, Idaho, I uh, wonder about the original pioneers and if Opal turned out to be the little town that they wanted it to be. Remember everyone, be good to one another, think good thoughts, do good deeds, and I will see you on the next adventure.